Hello and welcome back to the All Change Review for our second episode. Now, a lot of people didn't see this coming, but that's probably because a lot of people didn't see the first episode. But for those who did, thank you. And also a big hello to our new subscriber, which now brings us up to a total of one. So hello and welcome. Uh, before we fully get started as well, I just want to do a quick apology for the subtitles in the last video. Um, they have a slight issue with my regional accent, so I must remember to speak clearer and slower, so it has a chance to keep being up. So, moving on, let's get to the coin review itself. So, today, as you would have seen from the title, we are covering the 1998 50 pence, celebrating 25 years since the UK joined the EEC and the celebration of its presidency of the EEC or the EU as most people actually now refer to it and how I'm going to refer to it as we go on through the video. So let's have a look at the stats. So looking at the stats we can see the year of mintage is 1998. The diameter is 27 0.30 millimeters across and the thickness is 1.78. Now there were 5 million and 43 thousand of these minted which is not high but high enough and again like the old 50p it was um, made from cupra nickel but unlike the old 50p it comes in weighing a lot less uh, only 8 grams as well. And we have the reverse and face sides on the bottom, which we'll look at now. So let's look at the coin itself. So on the face, we have here the fourth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II by Ian Rank Broadley. We'll come back to um, the portraits of Queen Elizabeth in a later video, because there's been a few over the years, and the new one released this year as well. So let's turn it over and have a look at the actual design on it. Okay, there we go. And we have this lovely Shooting Stars um, design by John Mills. Now, John Mills is one of the UK's most prolific sculptors. Um, other works of art note uh, the memorial to the women of World War II uh, in London on Whitehall, just down from the Cenotaph, and his tribute to the firefighters who have given their lives um, for this country and keeping us safe as well. Also, he's done several other coins, and his name will pop up again. A couple to mention are 1993 D-Day and um, the DNA £2 coin as well. I would actually recommend popping onto his website because he does have pictures of um, coins that he's also designed which weren't made, so coins that could have been as well. And if, like me, you do have a fascination in this thing, like this field, it's just worth checking out. It's uh, quite interesting. So, we have here 12 stars to get back to the coin itself, and each of these 12 stars represent the 12 stars that are on the European flag. Now those 12 stars actually don't represent anything themselves in the number of t being 12, like the American states have 50 stars, one for each state on the American flag, um, but the circle of the stars on the European flag does represent the unity and solidarity and harmony of the people of Europe working together. The uh, at the bottom of the coin here, you can just make out we've got the years 1973 and 1998 for the 25 years, and the words 50 pence as well. So actually, quite a nice design in my opinion, but of course that is just my opinion. Now talking to fellow coin collectors, actually, um, a couple of them said this was the very first coin that they collected and actually got them started. I think um, it was because this year we had a second uh, commemorative coin release, which was the NHS uh, tribute coin. And also this coin, the new style 50ps and the old style 50ps were also both in circulation at the same time. So there was quite a few variations which were all still legal tender. So. How much for one of these? Well, 
it's worth 50p it's go into a shop you can buy something 50p it's current legal tender but looking online at some auction sites and this is always a rough guide because there are many factors that come into it when buying and selling coins but for the last five that sold they did go for an average of 91 pence which actually surprised me I didn't think it'd be that high being due to the uh, slightly higher mintage uh, numbers um, but I think the age of the coin also plays a factor in this being this was 17 years ago if you did want to get one of these coins to add to your collection I would actually just uh, keep an eye out in your change to see one that comes up I mean this one personally I actually got out of a vending machine in work so what do you actually think of this design um, do you like it yourself do you have it in your collection are there any other coins you'd like me to review as well? Uh, let me know in the comments section below and please feel free to like and subscribe as that brings us to the end of today's video. So until next time, keep collecting. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.